What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. David Wakefield here and today I'm taking you behind the scenes of my recent short film Legacy starring Roman Turner, a track athlete at the University of Arkansas. So this was not a paid project whatsoever. This was purely for my YouTube channel so I could put together something really cinematic and something really cool and then also document um, how I'm getting these shots along the way and, and show you guys what goes into these. If you guys have not seen the full film, uh, go ahead and check it out. I'm gonna link it right up here in the corner above. I did only have my videographer for one day out of the two days. So the first half will show me actually getting the shots that I incorporated into the final film. And the second half is gonna be uh, basically just the shots like straight out of camera and then the shots edited right next to it. And I'll have a little bit of commentary along the way, just kind of further emphasizing why I did what I did there. So with with all that being said, subscribe if you haven't already, comment if this is something that you want to see more of, and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Today we have a super special video planned with one of the senior track athletes here at the U of A. My name is Roman Turner. Um, I'm a short sprinter here. This guy is an absolute beast. He actually mixes uh, his own beats as well, so we're going to get some like good footage of him um, acting like he's making a beat. Also, he owns his own business. This guy just... There's, there's nothing that he can't do. For today, we're gonna be kind of following Roman around and uh, kind of show you guys around the facilities, get like some really good B-roll of, of some of the badging. And this is actually a new building that we're in. We have kind of exclusive access, so thanks to Roman. Yeah, we are new. probably probably the only people that have filmed in here. I don't, I don't think anyone else has filmed in here. Um, Sick. That being said, we're gonna go ahead and get started and I'll see you guys at the end. Alright guys, so this is where day two starts. Um, we had to come back the next day because a lot of the lighting that you see underneath the trophies and the lit up Arkansas sign that he is walking next to, uh, you'll see that shot here a little bit later on. All of those lights are on a timer and so they were all shut off permanently um, whenever we were shooting at nighttime. All right guys, so the beat that you're hearing right now was actually made by Roman himself. I had him uh, shoot this one over to me so I could incorporate it into the video. 
I will have all of his information linked down below in the description, so be sure to check him out. He makes some super sick beats, um, and I'm definitely gonna be hitting him up here in the future. So another big tip is if you are shooting an athlete and they are working out, I tend to go handheld uh, just to add to the intensity and I purposefully kind of shake my camera back and forth. It, it definitely sold the effect in the final video, so keep that in mind. This shot right here was actually a little difficult. Um, there was so much ambient lighting from like the Razorback sign in the back and from the name tags above the lockers because uh, that was casting off like a really bright red light. So be sure that you white balance your camera to the skin tones if, you, if you're shooting a person and there is a lot of like ambient lighting around, pro tip. And we're back. So hopefully you guys got some beneficial information out of that and uh, got a little bit more insight as to what goes into shooting a cinematic sequence like Legacy. And uh, if you guys have not seen the video, again, I did link it up in the corner at the beginning of the video, so feel free to go and check it out uh, to kind of see the whole put together film that this video was about. Other than that, guys, thank you so much for checking it out. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I am happy to answer any questions that you have, and I will see you guys in the next video.